Hello everyone and welcome back to the Vagabond Guard campaign. And uh, today we gotta have Dice Parser choose the uh, the unlucky victim today because uh, Willa wasn't there last time. So normally she'd be doing it, but uh, she's scot free this time. And what? Oh, it's Devin. Oh, perfect! You get a, a oh, chance to redeem yourself. As we picked up, uh, you know, the pieces from that fight with the with the Guardian, we decided to do some more scouting around, and Barla came up with an excellent idea to use her stealth skills to get a look around the place. She tried to lure some bow goblins away, but they were too stupid to fall for her plan. Uh, so she uh, decided to... Uh, she, she made the executive decision to draw all of the Bokoblins to her location and defeated them all expertly in hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat while everyone else came in to share in the fun. Uh, after that, we uh, burned their settlement to the ground after getting a map of the, uh, of the woods location. And then the, the group came to a group decision to go deeper into the forest. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll give you a pass on that one. But yes, uh, Barla went into the woods by herself. It did not go well. She got knocked out by getting surrounded and pounded by bow goblins. They had to go in and save her. Then they took out the entire scouting post. So they took out the patrol, and then they took out the guys on top, and then they burned the tower to the ground after getting information. Give me a pass. I don't know what you're talking about. I did a great job. <laughs> All right, so you have inspiration for this session. My, my advice is always uh, use it while you got it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we are picking up where the party left off inside of the of the uh, woods, trying to figure out where they want to go next. If they wanted to get supplies or just go gun ho No. Uh, what was our plan? We we're just gonna go right across, raft right across. We we're gonna build a raft out of the the wreckage of the uh, burned down, th or we just tore yeah. it down. We didn't burn it down. I yeah, mean, that could work. Yeah. There's no yeah, shortage of scavenging for it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have one of you will have to do a craft intelligence check for that. Although I'm assuming you're just gonna lug the wood over to the coast first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't have a great intel. Uh, well, no, I, my intelligence was actually better than my wisdom, so I might be able to help put something together. And I do have craft. Yeah, I I have a craft one and uh, a one bonus from intelligence, so probably would be good for me. <laughs> We're Hopefully. in the same boat. <laughs> well, you can also use the help action to give someone a plus one. Yeah, because it would definitely be in our best interest if we could get this raft uh, up and, uh, you know, not kind of have to, like, spend a bunch of time hiking all the way back to where we hired the boatman. <laughs> yeah, which was over here for anyone who forgot. If you didn't know also, Sonic, like, you're muted. That anymore. would explain so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was oh, like, he's gone. Did. <laughs> Chiffy did. Because I noticed he wasn't talking. And so I was like, what? Uh, yeah, I was, I was trying to talk and then I was constantly getting talked over and I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, why does someone uh, hate me today? I'm really <laughs> judging you. <laughs> Oops. Okay. But anyways, yeah, well, try and gather wood rafts and if we fail then i guess we'll just have to haul back over there oh it's so loud why is it so loud <laughs> oh that's why there we go i was playing into my speakers at like 300 <laughs> percent that's nice <laughs> i was like my ears okay so i'm going to assume you guys are just going to take two actions to move over here and then build the boat for the rest of the day yeah yep Oh, we're lugging whatever supplies we would need from no, the tower. Probably we'll use the mule to help out. Yeah, I'm going to assume you guys are probably taking like seven encumbrances worth of wood with you. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can carry a lot. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, you guys do not care. Seven encumbrance is how much a person weighs, so I imagine you need at least that much wood to hold a person. But yeah, so you're at the uh, coast, and uh, so there's two ways you can do this. You can do a group check where uh, if the majority of you pass, you build the boat, or you can uh, have one person do it for everyone. If I'm one person honest. does it, you can also do the help action as well. Uh, let me check something real quick. Uh, okay, so it's a well, craft intelligence check. Well, yeah. Sora's got three in intelligence, so... With you two having craft and int, and Sora just having good int in general, I think a group check might actually be better odds for us. Okay, um, um, then that means... So how many people take the group check, or is everyone? Everyone. Yes. Group. If three out of five of you pass it, uh, you make the boat with no issues. Okay, we can try that. Alright. Let's see how well Sora's doing with the... Don't with the... Suck, you don't said suck, craft don't intelligence, suck. right? Yeah, so if you don't have craft, that's a negative two. Except for with Sora, because <laughs> I decided to say screw that. <laughs> he took the feat, the, the the focus that was like, if you don't have the skill, it counts as level zero. Negative one. <laughs> <laughs> Varla is not very crafty. Negative one. <laughs> okay. Oh no. We actually build an anchor. Okay. <laughs> okay well, All right. Okay, Both so, of you have to pass, or okay, this isn't uh, going to go well. well. You want to go first, or should I? Uh, well, would you rather I go first? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, I'll go okay, last. So, all right. So, what am I rolling? I've got a plus one in intellect, and I do have craft. I think uh, that's plus three, then. Do you have craft zero or craft one? Uh, craft is zero, because I haven't been told to change it. All right, so then it's just going to be your intelligence added on. Okay, so just the one. Yeah. <sighs> well, let's get this out of the way. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, I'll do it just for the sake of it. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I knew it. We have, we have like half of a flotsam going on. All right, so we should, we should bet have done this. between uh, Sora and and uh, Onslow, you might have like the mast made, and then everyone else just has logs laying around, and uh, you've spent the whole day on this. I like to think it's like The Simpsons, where Homer's like looking at the picture of the grill. He's like, "That's a fine grill." And then he lifts it up, and it's just this dilapidated mess. Why does mine look like that? <laughs> Yeah, uh, so the well, night has passed, so you do have to go... progress, uh, somewhat. Yeah. So it is night, so you have to go consume your your group ration, which I do believe is four. Mm. Well, I have some rations made out of a tasty bird that we got from some bokoblins. That's true. It is. It did come in handy. Okay, so is everyone taking... Who's taking the minus one, or... Barla can feed herself today. <laughs> yeah. All four. I don't recall if I have anything on my person. If I don't, then I'll just take the hit. Okay, I have one ration left. I oh, have oh. no rations, so um, you go ahead and eat your ration. I'll go hungry. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do that? I have no other alternative, I don't think. I mean... I know that Sora had some stuff left over. He might be able to spot you. I don't know. Does Sora feel like sharing? <laughs> Sora's been sharing. <laughs> Mind, he only will have two rations left after this, but Sora's been sharing. Unless I'm given the, the opportunity to forage, then I'm going to have to, to either ask for that or skip. Yeah, Sora will give it to you. He's not going li to let you guys go hungry. Nom, 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 nom. I'll eat some salty rocks. <laughs> yeah. Rock. Living up to that. Oh, isn't it great? I don't have to eat any anything at <laughs> yeah. night. Life. We're by the river, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Trying to build a raft. I'll just like grab some rocks and begin crunching them. All right. So it is the the next day. You may attempt the the group check raft or have one of you try to finish it off. Because uh, it's like halfway done, you have a plus one. Uh, let's see. Well, Sora and uh, Onslow. <laughs> Onslow, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, Sora and Onslow both had plus threes to it. So, well, I had but the best possible one of the best possible rolls I've had in a while. So. Clearly, if I go again, it's going to obviously be just as good. <laughs> That's gambler's fallacy as heck. So do you want to do all the work while Barla goes hunting? Sure, uh, we do need more rations. Yeah, I'd say we'll have one person work on the raft, either Sora or... Uh... Yeah, I, I think I'll take care of it. I mean, I, I'm the sailor, so... You can not have sense. someone stay behind with him to use the help action to get an additional plus one on him. I'll, I'll stay back and help. We already know how bad my foraging skills are. Okay, I'm gonna try that little trick by getting a okay, stick. So that means it would be plus five for me? Yeah. Because plus one for uh, the previous day and plus one uh, from Deka. Yep. Okay. Fifteen. All right, yeah. So at the end of the day, the raft will be completed. And while he's right. building that, can Barla go get some rations for this starving party? <laughs> yeah. I was about to say... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Command ignored about... hunting. I was about oh. to say I I'm going to do that trick we did when we first got here where I'm going to like sharpen a, a stick with a dagger and try and like, fish. And Sora's gonna try and uh, do some uh, do some hunting himself. He is not doing great because Parser does not like me. All right, yeah. For the fishing, you can go ahead and do a uh, survival wisdom check as well to bait the fish with whatever you got, shiny rocks or something. Fifteen. Oh wow! Look at that. All right, so uh, both Barla and. Uh, Bodon, you you both get two rations each, so four in total. No. All right. I just got them skewered on the the stick. I'm not sure how you're supposed to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, you could add those to your inventory, but you're going to have to consume all of that tonight anyway. All yeah. right. I'll bring home that meat for everyone and save my cocoa rations for later. All right. So uh, it's now day day three, I guess. Technically speaking, it's day what six since you left. It's almost been a week since you left, and uh, yeah, the raft is done. All right, then we uh, raft on over and just do this. Four hours yep. of. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so, going to take a while, but still, yeah, we're gonna be back. So it's better than have been asking probably do, to like fly all the way across. Yeah, you do one here, one here, and then I guess just one here and one here. Are you going back to the castle? I assume. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, we want our payday. All right, so you get there pretty late in the day. And uh, yeah, so you are. You're in Lena Castle again. What do you do? Get a okay. meeting with the sage and give information that we found. Yeah, we'll talk to the guard posted at the entrance. Preferably, it's the same one we we talked to when we first arrived. Is Ronaldo in town by chance? Are you asking the guard? Rodolfo, that's his name. Yeah. No, I figured I'd see him if he were in town. He's kind of got one of those, uh, you know, one, one of those. You can't ambiances. miss him. <laughs> he's he'll make sure you can't. He'll make sure you can't miss him. <laughs> yeah. So the the guards tell you that you can uh, have your audience. 
tomorrow, which is obviously expedited. But uh, for whatever reason, the queen wants to sleep tonight because it's like 6 p.m. Why would she oh, want yeah. to sleep at night? Wow, Grandma! <laughs> and uh, the fee for staying is two per person. Two rupees. Two rupees per person. Do we get a meal, rupees? or do we have to pay for that separately? That includes the meal. All right. I don't think Barla has two rupees. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that broke? Yes. Barla was desperate when you found her, and, it, and that's a g good reason. All right. Well, perhaps we'll get a payday when uh, we, we give uh, them this map. Well, that that was kind of the, the plan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll spot you. Oh, shucks. Mm. Yeah, I'll try I'll... something. Um... Are the roads still busy? Are there people still about at the bazaar or the marketplace? Uh, it's like winding down for the evening. So they're still open, but they're going to be closing up shop within the next half an hour to an hour. Okay, then that probably wouldn't be the prime time to try to rein in some extra cash via entertainment. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Bright and early. Tuck is going to be like, watch this. Your feet are flammable. <laughs> now, since I have high decks, I was going to actually juggle uh, uh, like uh, anything that I could set flammable. And since I'm not affected by it. <laughs> anything that you set on fire. Yeah, though, I'd have I'd make sure that I was positioned somewhere near water. It's got those like on onset firemen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. But yeah, unless there's anything else you want to do, uh, it'll we'll just roll over to the next day. Is there actually a, a shop we could get some yeah. better things? <laughs> yeah. Like, what kind of stuff are you looking for? Like, uh, maybe some better armor, or shields, and stuff like that. Some interesting little knickknacks, some potions. Thor's gonna wait for the buying until we get paid. I, yeah, Barla yeah, well, doesn't have much need to show. It's, right. it, it's uh, maybe just to, like, window shop and see if, uh... You oh, know. Barla's all down for window shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's see like if there are any shopping for free. <laughs> yeah, so... There's like a like your regular travelers guild that sells light armors up to an AC of 14, encumbrance of two if you want the expensive stuff. Uh, and then there's the armorer who's got your medium and heavy armor stuff, which is anywhere from 250 to 2,000 rupees. Oh, okay, well, that's out of my price range. <laughs> and then uh, small and large shield. A small shield is t 20 rupees, and a large shield is 10. You're like, why is the large shield worth more? Because it gets in your way. Yeah. I've, during the window shopping, Barla is leading her mule around with her just by the rope. Are there any, like, little, like, magic items? Like, just some, like, one use magic powder? Stuff like that? Like a like a potion shop, yeah. Are there any sketchy deals available? Things that are likely to backfire. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, for you, that depends on what you're looking for. But uh, uh, you don't... don't see like anyone selling potions or things like that. At least not legally. Are oh, we going to get to the black market? Well, I don't know. Does someone want to go there? <laughs> Is there, like, just a little sign for like, the could. black market? I would probably draw the least amount of suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of you has a, a focus that allows them to uh, do uh, underhanded deals when they feel like it. True. Okay. 
Uh, I volunteer myself. All right, Onslow, you letting that happen? Okay. Uh, <laughs> do we want to do that now, or wait till we get paid, just so we'd have more money in case anything really good is there? Probably wait for to get paid, just because it's the black market. <laughs> Rather just be there yeah. once than twice. Yeah, because yeah, I have the deal maker. I could use that, but I think maybe we should wait just until we get get our pay. So mm -hmm. if there's something we all really think will help the team, we can pool our money for it. Is it no. counterintuitive to uh, just browse ahead of time? Because that was my main purpose. I wasn't planning on buying anything mm -hmm. yet. Could I use I the mean, deal maker now, and we could then go back and check the same place later? Uh, uh if they're still in town by then. I mean, the problem, the problems are, going into the black market once is dangerous. Going to the black market twice is just two opportunities to get caught going into the black market. Yes, yeah, so so I kind of just. Want us so, to get paid first? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want us to get paid first too, because there's no real point in window shopping if we don't have the money to afford it. But if you don't want to, if you want to do it, go ahead. Sora's just not going to take part in it. And like we said before, we can like pool our money together too. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I can wait. I was. Uh, I'm just going along with whatever. Uh, Deca can suit best for now. Yeah, so I think we'll wait and we'll save our shopping stuff for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I'm going to assume that you're just going to go have your audience yeah. before doing anything else. Yep. Okay, so you wait for the uh, the time frame might be like crazy early in the morning since uh, it appears the Grand Sage goes to sleep early. It's like 5 a.m. or something. And uh, you're led back back through without Rodolfo this time. The, the, the champion guides you into the into the uh, the chambers where she spoke to you last time and uh, she smiles and says, well, I'm glad to see that you uh, returned from your scouting mission. What do you have to report? We have tamed a map that shows exactly where all the enemy outposts are within the forest. We have also found a strange creature that appears to shoot a powerful blast of light that destroys any object in its path within the forest and have marked down its location as well. It seems the monsters in the forest are quite a lot smarter than one would normally expect from them. They have they had, though we destroyed one of their outposts or one of their watchtowers, they had almost the entire perimeter secured with watchtowers to prevent anyone from being able to uh, go in easily, but the watchtower was destroyed. They also appear to be searching for something in the forest, though what it is, we do not know. Mm, that is concerning. May I, may I see this map? Indeed. And Sora hands the map. All right, she she like looks it o she like looks it over and is like, well, unless this is a major bluff from the Bokoblins, I I must say this is far worse than we suspected. Indeed, I've never seen a fortress. Uh, from Bokoblins this large. It's as large as Lina Castle itself, if this is to scale. We do not know for certain, as we were running out of resources by the time we managed to obtain this map, but I would assume it is to scale. And the Bokoblins themselves are, though dumb in many ways, they are 
working quite smartly. They have patrol routes throughout the forest. They have... Uh, they play their cards smart with their watchtowers. The fortresses, even the smaller ones, would likely be difficult to take out. But at the very least, we destroyed one of their watchtowers that used to be around this vicinity. And that gives an opening to go into the forest. Well, it gives us an offensive advantage if we were to act quickly. However, I don't know how quickly we could scramble an army to get over there in time. An army? Just send like a, I don't know, like a few strike uh, scouts or something. Yeah, a small group to go and take... Get a good look at that fortress. You're right. I down. should send Rodolfo. He he is the hero of Labrina after all. Uh, no, 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 send Rodolfo. A strike force is very possible, though. I do not know if a strike force will be enough to uh, overcome the giant fortress that they have. That itself may require an army to do so. But if you march yeah. an army through the forest, they'll they'll scatter. And they'll take whatever they have. Still, you have to you have to root them out. They'll just move somewhere else. They could move into Lina City, if I am not mistaken, from your first report. Yeah, exactly. Then your first mission should be, if you choose to accept it, you do not have to. If you do not want to, this scouting information has been vital. But you should find out how they are getting their vocoblins inside of cities. They seem to be summoned or teleported, you said? Yeah. That appeared to be how it was, yes. Well then, see if you can find the source of it. Because if they are teleporting, if we send in an army, they will completely overrun any cities that are underprepared for such an attack. We must make sure that they don't have an escape route into our strongholds. Hmm. Perhaps well, how many we can... can you us get equipped? Perhaps we can examine the teleportation circle in Lina City sewers again, or try and figure things out. I do not know what our best course of action to find that information is, but perhaps we can try and figure it out. Well, that would... It's unless you could find a way to teleport back to them, although it would appear that the ring is shut down. You need an expert of some kind. Would you happen to know an expert in magical teleportation? Not on hand. There's Not an old man in a cave that might know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> or we could just head over to that fortress. That's probably where they're teleporting to and from. And what makes you think that? Yeah, it's a big spot. It's where I would teleport if I had, you know, a bunch of buddies with a fortress. There is also the fact that you said they were looking for something. Perhaps Indeed. It, with your scouting prowess, it would be best to look for that first. If you can find it and recover it, it would it would help to keep them out of our reach. So, question: Are, are Bokoblins intelligent enough to interrogate, or do they just kind of feral little squeaky guys? You, from your encounters with them, you wouldn't uh. say so, but you haven't exactly tried it either. Yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe we can, uh, d capture one of them, and, uh, I, I, I kind of, like, uh, tap my hammer on my head and make them talk. I don't expect that to work very well, but 
I don't speak Bill Goblin. Would parlay versus foes work in an interrogation? Hmm, that is a good question. I would say... Yeah, you could get your bonus on a reaction roll in that scenario. Then that could be a potential asset that DECA can provide. Uh, so, what do you say if we capture one of them and bring them back here? Could uh, you guys get information out of them? I doubt we could get any information that you couldn't out in the wild. However, book hoblins have historically been known to be very dumb, even within the past 10 to 20 years, but this is far beyond what we know. However, it is also possible that there is something greater leading them. Perhaps mm -hmm. a whiz robe, something that could enchant them with greater intelligence or just perhaps teach them to act more intelligently. Hey, that's an idea. Just capture a whiz robe and then interrogate that. Yeah, we just need to find something that could be their leader. Uh, well, at you least said you cleared hold. a path to a stronghold. That is one option that is available to you. Yeah, but the problem... Well, I'm not having this problem, but uh, my, 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 my friends here are getting uh, uh, deprived of food as we travel through that forest. It's quite large. And uh, if you guys could maybe supply us, maybe we could uh, go deeper into the forest? Oh, yes, I suppose we, we did promise a reward. Each of you uh, may request something. Oh. Well, you could this, just uh, this... request rupees. We, we can accommodate that as well. Is well, it a might... collective decision, or can we each individually ask for something? Each individually. Discuss. Hmm. Sora's just gonna take the money. Alright. He, he, he's gonna use it for, like, food and arrows and stuff, so may as well just take the money. You are granted 1,000 rupees. Holy frick. <laughs> I'd like some, uh, better armor. I mean, this is kind of, uh, got a bunch of, like, dents in it and, like, bust places that need to be buffeted in and stuff like that from falling. Of course. Uh, <clears throat> DM uh, talk here. Uh, keep in mind, if you go into light, into medium or heavy armor, your duelist arts will not be able to function anymore. Oh. Oof. Well, then I, I guess I'm going to take the money, then. Oh, what's the best medium art? Or what, what's, like, the best armor I can get? I'm like, let's see. Yeah, you currently that, have it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is as good as it's going to get? Okay. Not necessarily, uh, but yeah, for now. Eh. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just take the money, I guess, then. You could... We could also supply raw materials if one of you is handy with uh, construction. You might be able to improve the armor on your own and still maintain your flexibility. Uh, could one of you guys do that? Um... I can give yeah, it a I, try. I've got to... Uh... Artisan, I can do, uh, like, some modding on things. Okay. So, oh. Yeah, I'll take that then. All right. So I imagine you'll just pawn this off to Onslow, but you get ten salvage. Ten salvage. All right. And you also get 500 rupees worth of, like, raw materials as well, so stuff like iron hammers, things like that. We just put down his money. Uh, so, should I... be... so who's carrying the salvage right now? Uh, should... Whoever you feel like. You could pawn it off to Onslow or keep it for yourself. Do you uh, want me I'll... to take that salvage? Or... Yeah, I'll... I'll let you take it. And then the, mater the materials, I could just put materials or... 
Yeah, just like materials, parentheses, 500 rupees. Okay. So you can't like buy food with this stuff, but for okay. making potions or armor or weapons, it provides that like much credit. value. So you like got a gift card. Store credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a store exactly. credit card. <laughs> Barla thinks about it for a minute and uh, kind of pulls out her bow and examines it and says, well, uh, I don't suppose you really got any better weapons. This bow is getting pretty old and, you know, I want to protect my mule too. Uh, I don't know if you make mule armor. I'm like, <laughs> Devin, I, I hate to break it to you, but you are the mule armor. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're, if you remember right, you have a focus that... I know I have Rider. Yeah, I was like, he, your mule has AC-18. There's nothing they could give that's remotely close to that. And my mule I mean, carries shield. It'll survive, a, a, it'll survive a beam from a guardian once. <laughs> In that case, she'll ask around about what potential weapons they might be able to provide. Let's see, you have a large bow, right? Yes. So, the, you could get a hand herlant. What is that? Essentially, it's like it's like it's kind of like a uh, crossbow. Only all of the bolts are loaded in at once, and they fire in one massive volley. And it does mm. D twelve damage, thirty sixty range. That sounds pretty complicated. Do they have it does bomb have armor? armor piercing, I might add. But do they have bombing? <laughs> you want bombs? Bomb arrows. I can make the bombs. I'm like, bomb arrows? No. In that case, let's just go with some cash. All right. A thousand dollars. There. <laughs> You're swimming in it now. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, Deco will look at the group critically for a moment, and then she'll turn to the individual that they're speaking to, and she makes a quick rough draft of what she re is requesting and she's interested if there's a permit that they can have to have a permanent discount on either all wares in the castle town or if there's a means where they can have a less discount across the entire region. Hmm. That will be difficult because we don't really regulate businesses but we might be able to sponsor a few of them Decca draws a question mark <laughs> so pretty much what what she's what she's getting at is you can more or less get uh, more in store credit with uh <laughs> with Castle Town because essentially it'll be on the uh uh quote unquote Republic's tab or you can get like one or two bucks off of uh your mundane items. So she looks like arrows, backpacks, oil, stuff like that. Decca looks to the group and waits to see what they decide on. So either more in-store credit for purchases or a meager discount on all the mundane items. Um. So how would that compare with a deal maker? Like, was Just, the discount stack or at all in that regard? The black market is uh, is definitely not going to be part of this. <laughs> yeah. 
This is all legal. That stuff's illegal. Okay, but if I but if I use deal maker on like legal things, would it also add an extra discount? Um, not really, because this is the best you get. You might be able to finagle some, convince someone to uh, give you like two bucks off of a different item, like extend the deal to something that's not normally on the list. But that's about it. As a side note, Decca puts in favor personally for the more in-store credit. Sora has no strong opinion either way. Likewise. I I think the I think it. Jeez, the store what awful thing. swing votes you two are. <laughs> <laughs> I I think the store credit would be good. Just so uh, I, I don't think we're gonna do this in one trip. So if we can get supplies. Because we're gonna see, we're we're gonna probably need more stuff as as it comes. So, so we're all see. we're all in agreement for store credit. Let's yeah. see what we get from it. All right, you get two thousand rupees worth of store credit in Lina Castle only. Sounds good. Yeah. Decca whistles happily and gestures her thanks. Okay, right. and yeah, that leaves on slow. Yeah, it's way to wait until the last Onslow decides to just take the money. <laughs> All right, a thousand <laughs> rupees. Money is practical. <laughs> I'm gonna put in my uh, inventory the uh, the the store credit permit. Yeah, be sure to keep track of how much money is left on that thing too. Because I guarantee you, when you come back here, I'm going to forget it exists. That's okay. I have it written down 2,000 rupees, and we won't dip into it unless we absolutely need to. So all of you need to be frugal. <laughs> I don't know how to dip into it first, because uh, it's only useful here. Anyway, so... Because, yeah, I mean, uh, we could use our additional rupees if we need to buy anything from there. Right, so... Like, I think any, like, common goods we should probably buy with the store credit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you can still buy common goods with the store credit. But, uh, she... She smiles and, and says... Well, the choice is yours if you want to take another adventure out into the woods. But do... Do let us know what you plan to do before you leave to do it. Whether you're going to investigate the uh, the whiz robe for interrogation, investigate the where the book hoblins are teleporting from, or if you're going to find their secret, well, what they are searching for before they can find it. Well, to be frank, I do not believe we have much of a chance of finding what they're looking for before they find it. After all, they have settlements throughout near the, the entire forest. If they have not found it yet, then what hope do we have of, uh, do we, a small group, have of finding it? I You're would pretty say, lacking in optimism, aren't as a, you? As a side note, saying that in front of somebody who believes that we adventurers are basically the biggest hope that they have to avoiding an all-out crisis, uh, Sora's not doing too well on that avenue. I do feel you're selling us a little bit short. Say, like, you're saying these McCoblins are, you know, going to be more efficient at finding something out there. <laughs> I was doing so well at negotiations up to that point. Barla takes your comments as a personal challenge and guarantees <laughs> that they will find whatever the Bocoblins are looking for before they do. After all, they think logically here. They have numbers, and they already have several encampments in the forest. They're they can have as many numbers as they want. I'll keep reducing them. And they're down one. That, that is what? not my point. My point is they have been in the forest for who knows how long. They have large amounts of numbers to sweep across the forest, and they likely have been searching for quite a while. How do you expect us to find something that they have been searching for for 
Who knows how long with superior numbers long before they do. Well, we By found this map. Log it. By that logic, if they've been searching for a while and still haven't found what they're looking for, we stand a good chance. Because mm -hmm. it means that they don't really know how to find it. <laughs> they, so they could just be can... searching for a grain of sand. As we continue to allow Sora to be the proverbial half-empty, uh, we should probably find a place to rest. I think we just got up. We just yeah. got Oh, okay. Then yeah. have we broken yeah. our fast yet, or do we need to? Nah, uh, you, you've eaten before going here. Also, I should mention that all of your effort and system strain and everything is uh, topped off at this point. I'm going yeah. to assume no one was over six system strain. No. Yeah. Yeah, not okay. even Sora, no. So does that mean we're healed too, or...? Uh, you or... would have regenerated 3 HP again. Actually, you would have regenerated 6 because of the first night as well, so... Okay, so I'm back to Sora. <laughs> yeah, I was like, 6, six HP is a lot in this game. Especially when I've sent so the uh, glass cannon. <laughs> So, uh, an idea I had, maybe to maybe we should take out each of their uh, these watchtowers, since we know exactly where they are. I do think, in all honesty, that that is, if it is at all possible, because it may be difficult, I do think that is actually a very good path for us to take. Don't bother with searching or finding or doing impossible tasks. Instead... Focus on the things we can do. Let the Oracle, let the Sage and the Kingdom all work to gather their army, and while they're busy doing that, we play ambush tactics. We take out the watchtowers, we perhaps move on to the smaller bases and see if we can take those out. We disrupt their... We disrupt the Wokoblins, leave them in difficult straits, and then when the Kingdom brings their army in... The Vokoblins will be unable to mount much of an offensive, and the Lodge Fortress should be easily taken. Don't forget Rodolfo, too. He's, he's out there working. He's a good kid. What's Rodolfo been doing? <laughs> like, he went to the Maku Tree. Has he come back from that? He has not come back from the Maku Tree yet. However, the Maku Tree might have sent him on a quest to repel evil. Or swallow them whole. Either way. She gives you, like, a quizzical look, like... You don't know the tree, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just... That was just afterthought. That's not Decca actually talking. Decca can't speak right now. <laughs> but Decca indicates that she'll go with what Sora's planning, because that way, if it backfires, we can all blame Sora. Well, I, I kind of suggested it, too. Decca remains yeah, confident Sora. that not only will she find what the Goblins were looking for, but she'll be able to reduce their numbers to a pitiful level. <laughs> we, can't have, we can't send a, an assault uh, of our own until we are certain that they cannot teleport inside of our cities. If we bring our forces outside and they teleport into the castle, it will be ruined. Oh, one more question. Do you know anything about that big guy? He was shooting at a... He actually downed quite a few of our uh, our friends here. That creature? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> one with the eye? You have any idea what that is? A towering structure with the eye that setting the forest on fire. According to the stories from refugees, it could be what they call a guardian. However, I do not know how one would have made it here. They do not seem to be able to function outside of Hyrule, or at least none have ever attempted to leave it, or at least we th so we thought. May I attempt to draw a picture to fully... Uh, indicate what we had seen because all we've given is a description and she's drawing based upon our description. I'm like, uh, sure. 
So yes. I'll, I'll let that be a, a no <laughs> dex roll, or it can be a craft wi uh, craft wisdom roll. I have a writing kit and a pint of oil, so... I guess it'd be craft intelligence. I could try to craft intelligence. That would just be a plus one. I'm like, go ahead. All right, so she uh, she takes out some paper and uh, attempts to draw what they had seen. All right, does Dice Parser like your photographic memory? No. Apparently not. Uh, apparently I was so, so traumatized that it looks like a rectangle with an eyeball. <laughs> with with fire everywhere. Yeah, with little, flames everywhere. A little dead version of you on the ground. And again, it's not too hard to draw, so who knows? Mm. Then yes, yeah, so I think I think what our best bet is is to instead focus on uh, figuring out how they teleport. It is not an easy task, but it is probably uh, our best way of shutting down, shutting things down early enough. If we find out while they teleport in time, then we can begin the sabotage plan. And then by that point in time, because it will likely take a while for them to form an army, they should have the army ready and waiting for us to uh, bring them in and take it out. But I do believe for now, our best bet is to find out how they teleport, investigate that, rather than going on a wild cuckoo chase in the forest for something that, to be honest, may or may not even be, even exist. I mean, why don't we just, you know, deal with uh, the both at the same time? You know, just going from location to location, we might just come across it. <laughs> I mean, they left this map in one of their... Watchtowers. I suppose I cannot deny that is certainly a possibility. Perhaps we should. Uh, perhaps if we attack the watchtowers, maybe attack one of their major fortresses. Perhaps we can find that information. Though we should uh, almost certainly avoid their larger fortress. A small strike force will not be able to overcome such a place. That itself will require an army. I would advise only attacking watchtowers without the help of the hero. Very well. Then I suppose that is what we shall do. We shall focus on taking down the remaining watchtowers, disrupting their ability to watch, and we shall see if we can gather any information. If we can gather more information about their teleportation methods through it, then we shall return and give it to you. If not, then we will perhaps need to think of a new plan. Very well. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, is there an easier way across the, the river there? Because uh, we had to raft back to get back in an efficient amount of time and... It's going to be hard to go back and forth between that river. Well, we have ferries that go to the Black Tower. Uh, I, I, I guess that'll do. But... In other words, we either need to use the ferry again, or we need to keep using our raft either way. It does not appear there is any other more convenient way, which I am not too terribly surprised of. We could buy a rowboat. I do recommend, once the forest has been purchased of monsters, that you perhaps build a bridge or something to allow cross passage across. I'll keep note of that in case... Well, in case things ever get better in the forest, for all we know, the worst is yet to come. That is fair. 
In any case, that is what we will do. We will attack all the watchtowers and see if we can find information on their teleportation schemes. And who knows, the watchtowers themselves might also give us more information on what their activities in the forest is. Very well. If Rudolfo comes back this way, I will be sure to let him know your current mission. Very well. I, like, try to do a formal bow. <laughs> Probably Like just... the helmet <laughs> helmet rolls Carla off. Carla is head. counting her rupees, and when she's satisfied, ties up the wallet and says, If you'll excuse us, I've got some engines to run. Of course. Yes. Yes, I believe we should spend the rest of today getting prepared, getting supplies, making sure to get plenty of food, and having everything ready so that we can proceed back into the forest fresh and full. What if we got tools? If it if it would decrease our expenses in the long run, would it be better if we had tools like a fishing rod or something? Because we do tend to go across the river a lot. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a fishing rod is going to be... Let's see. I don't think there's anything like that in uh, this guidebook. <laughs> no. If you're looking at the off guide, man. Three, I've got More it. Guides, yeah, it's man. Fishing rod. yeah, so it's going to be 15 rupees, one encumbrance for a fishing rod, and it'll give you a plus one on your wisdom survival checks regarding, you know, getting fish. Who's yeah, going to be our... Who, who should be the fisherman? Well, my wisdom is bad, and survival, <laughs> I think, is bad, so we need somebody else to do it. Soros doesn't have very good of any of those stats either. Barla can do it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, if Barlow can do it, then Barlow's a fisherman. There you go. Great. Barlow will put the fishing rod on the mule. <laughs> Fair. All right. So, yeah, write that down. Fishing rod plus one, two. Well, with survival fishing checks. Where's Flexworth in all of this? Clock, Your head, Flexworth. probably. Sit, Cluxworth is hanging out with the Rito shoulder because your head is mangled. No, my head's fine. It's just my face that's mangled. Barlow would like to, after leaving the castle, go shopping to purchase a week's worth of rations, a grappling hook, a small shield, 20 arrows, and a heavy spear. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a reverse shopping crap. list there. <laughs> also, are there any bombs? I'm like... Not I can make yet. bombs. Oh, great. You, well, I'll leave that to you, then. I'll make the bombs, don't you worry. Okay, Sora is probably gonna get... You know, probably gonna get, like, ten more arrows, and... I'm not going to focus on an X amount of rations, because... Clearly that sometimes does not work out for the group. Instead, I'm going to say I want Sora to get up to... Tw to get 20 rations. <laughs> Alright. Are you overwhelmed by the shopping list yet? Is there a... <laughs> oh, okay, I'll let you parse out what he's getting first. <laughs> <laughs> so just wondering, did, did we still want to do that black market idea? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so... I mean, Sora doesn't, but he's not gonna stop you. Okay, so Dake is the one that's gonna go to it, is that right? Or are we both gonna go? <laughs> I'm like, so, for simplicity's sake, I'll just say it's, uh, it's 20 rupees for those rations. Gotcha. 20 rupees for 20 rations? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. I'll get 20 rations instead of a week's worth, though, so you have to do less math. Well, you guys have to do the math. <laughs> Are, is silver in the book translated to rupees? Yep. Okay. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to take the dog outside. Okay. Okay. 
Alright, and... I carry on as usual, I don't plan on buying anything. Okay. Well, I'll go to the black market then, just to see what's there. Uh, okay, I'll use the deal maker then to make that happen. Alright. So, what... What sort of stuff are you specifically looking for in the black market? Oh, shit. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> like, um... Climbing potions or water breathing potions. So just we're interested po in potions. So potions is what we're interested in. Um, if if there's magic gear, that would be nice. Maybe get someone a, a magic arrows or something. Okay, so magic stuff then. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So. Yeah, you can get a, a climbing potion. It's going to cost you 750 bucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any other potions available? You can get or... your uh your the classic red red potion which does what you think it does. It's uh it's the one that you had before, but it is more expensive. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Why can't they just call it healing potion? Why do they have to call it something dumb? <laughs> because you can't make logical sense, because that would make too much sense. Yeah, so the sanctif it's a sanctified healing potion in the book. That's going to be 500 bucks. Okay, maybe. Stuff is out of my price range anyway. <laughs> The the potions are expensive in the black market. What what about arrows? Just magic arrows, like fire arrows, ice arrows, stuff like that. Let's see. Um you can get bomb arrows. You won't get very many bomb arrows. So bomb arrows are gonna be like five bucks per bomb arrow. Okay, we might want to get some of those. The bomb arrow uh, works a bit differently because uh, when you hit when you hit your target, it rather than uh, doing the damage of your bow, it'll just do d6 damage in a uh, ten foot radius. Just a kaboomer. Kaboom! Kaboom! So it's kind of like a small AOE arrow. Yeah. That might be good to get. Uh, I don't plan on Sora using any bomb arrows. How much uh, was that? It's te it's five bucks per bomb arrow. Barla will get two bomb arrows. Only two, huh? Yeah. Yes. And what's the encumbrance? Uh, bomb arrows are one in, are, are stacked encumbrance, but not with regular arrows. So, uh, divide by three, round up. So two bomb Ooh. arrows are one encumbrance, three are one encumbrance, but four is two. Then we'll buy three bomb arrows. Yeah, keep in mind, if you want to fire them at will, they do have to be in your readied actions, or your readied item slots. That's unless fine, you I just have draw. to choose at so any I'll given time between having the spear or the bomb arrows and grappling hook readied. And how much was it? Uh, it's five roops per. Okay. And uh, keep in mind, the they don't do the damage of your bow. They have the range of your bow, but the damage is always going to be D6 in a 10 radius. And they can is save it? on it. Y your target can't. If, if you hit your target, they take full damage. But if you miss, it's, uh, it's like half damage for everyone else. Okay. But what if you were to shoot it at, say, a watchtower... Support beam. <laughs> Can I watch tower support beam dodge? No, okay. Interesting. Well, Arla's got everything she needs to storm the fortress.
I guess if we're we're done there, I'll uh, look to Onslo to. Uh, so, uh, can you do something with this? As I like show my my materials and. Uh... Who are we talking to? I'm talking to Onslo. Got it. Okay. Um. So. Let me see. Uh, which page was that on? Okay, so, yeah, I can do some modifications, although they're kind of uh, expensive. We're going with the ones that are on, like, page 57 of this. Yeah. Got 500. Okay, because, um, like, the cheapest thing on here is, like, a thousand, I think. Um... Let's see, a one-handed weapon is modified to adopt the shape. That's the only one that's cheap. <laughs> Every oh, and then there's customized. Uh, the weapon or suit of armor has been uh, when used, they gain a plus one hit uh, with the weapon or plus one armor class with the armor. So I could give it customized then. That would cost a thousand. I only have five hundred. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. I got ripped off. Do we want to? Do we want to do that mod though? Uh, uh, a good mod. You'd have to spot. Someone would have to spot you the other five hundred. But you I could, could spot do you it. the other five hundred if you think it's really worth it. I, w I was just doing it to make my AC go up. No, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. It'd be fifteen. Fifteen. It already is fifteen. Oh well, then it'd be sixteen. So well, do we I, want that or I, well, I guess be better we'll, for someone else? <laughs> what do you think? It, it's, it's just my my AC's it, it's not bad, but I, I kinda want it a little higher, so maybe I'll just wait till we have a bit more money. So I can stand in front of stuff and not get uh hit. Um, I could get so I could give the plus one uh, armor class. That would be a thousand, though. <laughs> okay. So do I, we... I, I think we should save the money. I, I think spending five hundred just to make my EC go up by one isn't worth it. I can. Yeah, it would be five hundred between us. Like the mods yeah. are ridiculously expensive. Okay, and I should I should go back and complain that I didn't get it. That I should have just got I should have should have got the rupees. Yeah, so I guess we're not doing that then. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, is is Decca eyeballing any of those potions? Uh, Decca was when the potions were mentioned. Yeah, yeah but I'm, she I'm can here. make some of her own. <laughs> well, that, well, do I have the distiller to do it? Because, remember, it takes time for me to make potions. Yeah, it will take you time, but you can do it. But they were ridiculously expensive, too. I'm like, yeah, I would absorb a lot of her money. No, I'll pass on the potions. I'd much rather make sure that we have what I, I want to see how much we can use with what we have already. I'm like, you could make bombs with these. <laughs> Wrathful but I can make, I can make bomb. I can make bombs anyway. Well, yeah, your own. Yeah, I never said I couldn't share them. Because they're not soul bound. Yeah, a thousand bucks goes a long way with uh, making your own potions. The black market prices are marked up so they can return a profit. So it's cheaper to build them yourselves. Yep, that's why I'm not doing anything with them right now. So she'll pass on the potions, but she'll keep it in mind.
I'm like, is that all the shopping then? Yeah. Uh, you forgot to get you forgot to get me the t price for the ten arrows. Oh right. Let's see. Going back from magic arrows to normal arrows. For reference, twenty arrows is listed as two silver pieces. All right, then it's just two bucks. Oh well, okay. It's one. Almost... It's one rupee for ten arrows. Huh. I'm almost half tempted to stock up a bunch then, but now I think. I think you know. I'll I'll put myself to fifty, so I'll go three. Let's see what's. All right, I need to go get dice parser. He'll tell me what's going on. Let's see. Fifty. We're running for random three. black market marksman challenges. <laughs> no. I'm like that's a lot of encumbrance. All oh, right, encumbrance is a thing. Never mind. Oh, are you going bomb arrows? No, regular arrows. Regular arrows Wait. pair off in threes as well. Oh, I was going with the listed encumbrance. Hang on, I need to do some recalculating. Gosh darn you, encumbrance. Alright. Arrows are bundled in 20s? Okay, I'm wrong then. Wait, what? So do I not have to recalculate? No, I don't recalculate it. I thought that oh. arrows were a lot more encumbering than they were. Okay. So it's every 20 arrows is one encumbrance. Yeah, I thought so, because it's usually just the quiver. Yeah, so it's like... It's like, uh... It would be three encumbrance for 60 arrows. I was going 50, but actually... That, the, that would be two encumbrance. But actually, even then... <laughs> even then, like, uh... Sora's already got, like, max encumbrance anyways. Yeah. Could just Audio. leave a bunch of them in with the mule. Eh, fair, but if the arrows aren't with, then they're... Then they're not really worth it. We can have Cluxworth have a quiver of his own. Yes. Give him a little backpack. Besides, his, ar his arrows are just fine as they are. He's And he's more of a healer anyways, so it's fine. Honestly, Maybe just having... Put medicine at the tips of the arrows so you can heal us from a distance. That's how it works, right? <laughs> that sounds like a very poor medical practice that would get someone thrown in jail for even trying. <laughs> Minecraft Steve is going to jail then. Let's see. I wonder if there's anything else. Um... Honestly, I don't think so. I think just having a bunch of rations, that way we can long rest to lower system strain is pretty much just going to be what Sora wants. Then we should head towards that one tomorrow. Alright, let's do it. Oh, my computer be freaking out. Alright, so that's that's what we doing? Yeah. Yeah, I think we've shopped ourselves shop out. Alright. So, uh, you're leaving town, I, I suppose. Well, I guess that staying, staying the night in the town is another two bucks per person. This time, Barla can pay for her bed. <laughs> Barla can pay for herself for forever now. Look gasp. Hey, listen, this is just the beginning. Now that Barla has enough money to survive, she can just move upwards. Soon she'll be hiring veteran cell swords, buying vehicles, buying land. Beginning of a new era of freaking. Oh, what is You're it? You're forgetting to factor in down payment. 
we gotta loot the entire fortress so that we can afford, like, I don't know, a house. <laughs> Barlow's got retirement plans already. Yes. All right, so uh, it's world map time. Where do you want to go, and how do you want to go there? I recommend we go straight west. Yeah, we, uh, whoops, I meant to right click. We go here, 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 and here, probably. We should probably, you know, uh, have a plan of attack and not just rush it. Well, obvious. I'm just meaning this is the path we're going. I have a plan. Attack. Exactly. I'm plan. with her on this one. That is not a plan. I, that, again, that's sub note. She's just whistling at this point. Everything you're hearing me say is not in English. Well, let's just head straight east. I mean, now that we've knocked down that tower, we've got an opening. We can hit this camp right here. Oh, oh we're right. heading east? Okay, so we're going all what? the way into this floor. <laughs> He's holding his map backwards again. <laughs> it's upside down. And how foolish of you to east? assume I meant I thought you said west. That's west, Patrick. You're fired again. But oh. no, we're not going there. We're going to this... this. You say so. All I mean, right, let's eventually, go. Eventually, if you kept going east, you would end up on the other side. Yeah, they don't have any watchtowers on Remember this side. Remember, the world is only as well. slow. <laughs> the world is only as big as this map, so. Okay. My theory: you. if we were like over here, we'd end up over here. Okay, I believe you. But yeah, we go here, 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 down to there. Yeah. Wait, that's right, great so for So outpost me. number <laughs> one. And from the looks of it, it's not within range or sight of the others, so there would be a minor chance for alarm. It still is a chance, but it's minor. That's okay, we'll use expert skill. Well, if they were to run, they'd probably go for this one. So maybe we get someone to cut them off if some try running. Clucksworth. Clucksworth can do it. Honestly, <laughs> I don't think it's worth trying to cut them off because our main objective is to... Take the watchtower, see if there's any information in it, and then destroy it. If they run off into the fortress, they run off into the fortress. Oh well. But they'll warn the other watchtowers. Right? I mean, maybe, but at the same time, it's like... Uh, I don't really... And it's better if they don't know who we are. And I still think trying to cut them off is more trouble than it's worth. I, I just don't think we should let any escape if... I, I think that'll be very detrimental. Perhaps, but at the same time, we chase them and they, they lead us into a trap, and then that leads to its own sets of problems. Well, what I'm saying is we can, we can position ourselves, attack from this direction, so they can't run in this direction. Because that's probably where they're going to go to if, uh, if we attack them and they're losing. Going around would cost us a bit of time before we attack, but I suppose it is not something we cannot do. We, Wait, are... we might save time if we do this in a montage. Yes. <laughs> Fast travel. It may be... It may be... Perhaps we can attempt to do that. Thought this, though, we will need to be careful and not have them run around us to try and reach that fortress. So we're basically choosing between the watchtower and the camp, right? No. We are not going to the cap camp. The sage warned us that that would be a very dumb idea. No, the, the one right here. 
Yes, I am aware of where you're pointing. We are going we for the Rodolfo walk tower. She said we needed Rodolfo with us if we were to go there. All right. Well, let's just get moving now. We're losing daylight. Yeah. So yes, we go here. We perhaps round it, and then we attack from the from that side. That may we may b see plenty of uh, potential potential scouts going between these two. So we may see more heavier guard, but at the same time, if we attack from there, they should not be able to run away. You might get them out in the open, too. Works for me. Yeah. So we'll you made that. it up to here. All right. And we're probably going to camp on the edge. And then uh, we'll, we'll attack at daybreak. Hunting by daybreak. All right. So we're waiting until they get up too. Everybody knows that the preemptive strike is usually the better one. They'll all be prone. So we do it at night. Well, are are they are they a nocturnal folk? Are they, uh... No, Macoblins are not. None of them are. <laughs> they may they may sleep, but that doesn't mean they're blind. Mm. We just cut down the watchtower while they're asleep. <laughs> yep, just just slowly accent back and forth, like just really quietly. Let's just cut it all down. What about a saw in town? <laughs> all right. So how about we do this? We we camp here, and then tomorrow uh, at around I don't know afternoon or mid afternoon, we go into the forest and around, and that w that should get us there by evening. All right. If each hex is four hours, that'd be eight hours. Yep. All right, but I guess Plus, we'll, if we uh, if we take a nap during the day and attune our eyes at night, that might help. Yeah. Yeah, we can potentially spend a few. We can also just try and get some extra rations while we're waiting, and then go, uh, so that we'll hit their nightfall. Yeah. And even if they're not asleep, it will conceal us. All right. Well, if it's the night of the uh, the first day, uh, rations be getting burned. Eating some more cocoa rations. All right, sixty hours remaining. I'm like I'm assuming no one has to uh, borrow rations anymore. No. I think we, they sounded like they they're well stocked up. All right, so I guess it's the uh, the day of the attack. It's indeed. First part of the day is going to be searching for more rations, just so that we can keep our supplies up. Yeah, I can just so, sit around twiddling our thumbs. Yeah. So let's see how well this goes. Can I finally do decent? Now, I should not be surprised, but I. Have I managed to get finding rations? <laughs> hunting. Well, I'll go fishing with the new fishing rod. If there, there's any bodies of water nearby, there's no bodies of water nearby. Oh, well, man. it should. It should. If we wake up early, you can. Maybe you can catch a bird with it. You wanna go? You wanna send Barla over here and then back again? Heck nah. I'll yeah, just wait till we pass a pond or a creek or something. Barla can do some old fashioned hunting. Let's see, her bonus to that is. And it's wisdom, right? Yeah. Five! Oh no. Get a boot. Alright, that's fine. Some people can eat leather, I guess. <laughs> we'll move on with the attack. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are still people who haven't tried searching for rations. Right I assume now. they just weren't gonna. Yeah, I, 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 I like try searching. What was the role for it again? <laughs> Wisdom survival. 
Okay, so uh, bad on both parts, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is like a negative three for you and Crow? I, I guess I'll look for mushrooms, maybe. <laughs> you ate the mushrooms okay. found you. Hey, wow, I natural 20. Good. You found five rations. Yay. <laughs> Onslow was on a killing spree. Meanwhile, Bodon, he was looking for mushrooms and then found mushrooms <laughs> on his back. <laughs> What's the encumbrance for each ration again? Or uh, Each ration, uh, it's every three rations is one. Okay. Every three rations is one. I do have to redo this again. Yeah, yeah, the rations are that. I'm like, believe it or not, the rations are, take up less encumbrance with these rules than in the rule book. All right, calculations are, are afoot here. Calculating. All right, and uh, everyone roll a d12 for me. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. One. <laughs> oh, I got no! The... <laughs> I what he's doing! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, could I? I got a. Uh, I got uh, a nine. Uh, uh, what is it? D twelve. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, why are you guys assuming that's... that low numbers are bad? We have no because idea what this roll is for. No, I don't. That's how this works. I I gave him this system. So <laughs> yeah. I think Crow and I know exactly what's about to happen. Get dunked on, son. Yeah. Oh, look, also, just um, here. really quick, uh, could I transfer some rope over to the mule? Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so I'll write it. A, so I, I've got a rope and a nice rope. <laughs> Each of those have an encumbrance of two. All right. I wrote them down on the mule. All right. So, uh. What has ha what has happened is while you were, you know, figuring out your strategy, doing some hunting or whatever, uh, you found uh, some of these guys. Oh. Coming towards the watchtower. From obviously the west. Barla's gonna be riding her mule, is that okay? So, did we run into them or did they ambush us or what happened? Uh, they found you, more or less. Okay. okay. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> and, so, did uh, they get. Yeah, it's initiative time. Can Barla be riding her mule for this encounter? I'm like... Because they found us. <laughs> you... Okay, I guess I'm going last. I'm like, you... You can... You can ride the mule, but the, the mule's speed is like, what, 20 feet? <laughs> yeah, but it can dash every time, while I just attack. All right, uh, put yourselves in the, uh... Oh, gosh. The order. Oh, there. wow. Our Perfect. initiative was garble. Well, garble they did initiative. find us, so I guess yeah. thematically this works. Yeah. Let's see. At, at least we're gonna die to great music. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do the ABCD... Gonna do the uh, alphabet book hobbling maneuver again. Let's see. So this one is a 12. This one is a 16. And the other one is a 4. So. And then I'll just 
A, B, C. Hey, at least we at least we rolled low here. Yeah, the the main the main. Uh, it may not necessarily up. reflect our combat uh, prowess. It, who knows? Maybe we're just trying to lure them in with a false sense of security. Oh no, we're so slow. Come on, come on. There's one Bokoblin faster than us. Well, faster than Barla. <laughs> what about the Lizalfo? I'm, I'm worried about the Lizalfo. Yeah, I'd be more worried about the Lizalfo, to be frank. If 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 memory serves correctly, they're going to be hard to hit. And they're going to probably blow That's fire okay. on us. Barla's got a brand new heavy spear to test out that does shock damage. Well, we don't know what kind of Lizalfo these are. Are they regular? All right, uh, it is tactics time, so... All right, here's the plan. <laughs> uh, we're gonna win, okay? Uh, but I think if we take out the Bokoblins first, then we'll have to deal with... We'll have less troubles going forward. What do you think? Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm gonna say we wanna focus on Bokoblins first. Uh, what Sora's probably gonna do is try and... Uh, unfortunately, they're gonna probably surround Sora, so I can't really do that, but he's gonna probably try and get away and be mostly on healing duty, but yeah, I'd say focus on the Bokoblins first, that way we can worry about wor work blah, 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 work, <laughs> work on work, the Lizalfos. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of the chip damage. <laughs> well, Barla's got good AC, especially with her new small shield, so she'll just and she ignores shock damage, so she can take the lead. Yeah, I'll just be sitting back with the bow, you know. <laughs> well, with the small shield, you can ignore the first shock damage. Oh no, a uh, poke eye allows her to ignore the shock damage. I'm like close combat. Are you close combatant? Yep. Very nice. Anyway, I'll just wait till everyone else has had their turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll assess the situation and then decide what I'm going to attack. Because I'm not going till uh, a while. All right. It gets still ahead of a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, they move. All right. So is that tactics time up then? Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. So this Lizalfo is going to go after Sora. Yeah, figure just about as much. And, uh, does a 14 hit. Uh, yes. All right. Actually, do I have a big one? I do. All right, you take two damage. Okay. And, uh, well, Coblin A is going to try to help him. Because he's a bow Coblin. He got an 11. I don't think that hits. No. Alright, so you take one shock damage. It would have to match the AC or greater in order to be a hit, correct? Yes. Yep, okay. Alright, Barla. They're going after your bird. Barla rides the mule around to this position and then strikes Bokoblin A with her brand shiny new spear. Look, Mike, he's not be bad. All right. We'll, we'll find out. Seven. New natural 20. Seven hit. All right. Uh, roll your damage with advantage. All right. Let's see. So with this heavy spear, the damage die is a d10. I'm like, that should... Uh, have your strength added on to it, unless it's versatile. How do you roll with advantage again? Uh, just roll it twice, take the better one. Okay. Get a running start, but then change. Alright, first one's a one, second one's a one. You do three damage. <laughs> Feels bad moments. Yeah, oh, that's... That's a thing. He got the best of both extremes there. <laughs> All right, Bokoblin B sees sees his moment and he takes the shot. Ooh, wow, good job. Uh, 
Yeah, you take five damage. I take five damage? What do you roll? Natural 20. Great. <laughs> and uh, unlike you, he actually got one of those to be a max. Repulse! <laughs> <laughs> the the Bokoblin wanted his justice. All right. He 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 triggered his trap card. Mirror force. All right, Bo Bodon. All right, I'll move over here, and I'll go Bokoblin bashing. All right, B or C? Uh, B, because it's I think it's more of a threat. So D twenty plus eleven. Yeah, 29. <laughs> and then D10 plus 5. 15 max damage. Yep, he squished. Yeah. Like, Did like you a... really have to put in the sound effect? <laughs> yeah. Ew. Ketchup, ketchup packet. <laughs> ketchup packet. <laughs> Alright. What are you, solid snake? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. The uh, Lizalfo is going to get over here to Bodon. And uh, let's see, how far out does this go? Yeah, he doesn't care. All right, Sora, Barla, and Bodon, you all have to make a, a Dex Exert check. Dex Exert. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like some fires coming our way. Uh, where's my exert? Oh, I have one in that, so that's plus oh two, right? Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is this is my experience with <laughs> nineteen. Does the does the mule need to make this check too? Yes. Oh, uh, uh, all right. What are its bonus <laughs> and Just starts shadow boxing. It's with just the a hook. straight d twenty. The mule the mule's a straight d twenty. The mule roll higher than Barla. Yeah, the the Barla shields this mule apparently. Yeah, she dives in you front of it with a with small a shield to protect it. All right, so everyone that failed takes eight damage. Everyone that succeeded takes four. Oh boy! Wait, where are we rolling? What's the mule's fire. health? Yeah, what is the mule's health? It didn't tell me. <laughs> I'm like, that's a good question. Uh, if the book doesn't say, we'll just, we'll just say that it has uh, ten. All right, so it's down to six HP. Oh shoot, Deca, you need to roll that as well. This is bigger than I thought it was. Okay. Um, it's a cone. All right, so just a straight up D twenty. Yep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well. Matrix? Uh, yep. Four. You only take four damage. Let's see. Uh, that brings what? me down to nine. All right. What the heck was the range on that thing's going? Is there any friendly fire there? <laughs> there was friendly fire there. But they don't care. All right, Sora. Okay. Yep. I ain't dealing with any more of that BS. Sora's gonna disengage, and he's gonna go 10, 20... Or not 10, 5, 10, 15, 20... You should probably... 10 feet into the air, so that way he can uh, get out of AoE crap and get up into the air. And since he disengaged, that'll be his turn. All right, it's Bo Coblin C. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna sit here and go for Bodon. Don, you're maidenless. I mean, you're nameless. Let's see. Yeah, he misses. So you take one shock. Okay. Oh shoot! There. <laughs> there you go. All right, Deca. All right, let's see some magic. 
I'm not sure if I'll be able to give any magic, but I will give it a try. I'm going to throw a grenade at the Lizolfo and the Bokoblin that we're attacking Sora. All right. Let's see. I forgot what I'm what I'm uh, rolling here. It's been two weeks. I'm like, uh, it should be a 2d6. I'm trying to remember. I'm like, yeah, does your character sheet say the save, though? Or is there a save at all? It doesn't say. It just says... It just says explosive grenade 2d6 scene. Otherwise, my ma my mouth is my weapon. It's a plus four to bonus to hit with a d6. Yeah, I know that uh, it automatically hits the area. Let's see. Okay, they they can make a save. All right. We'll see uh, how how good they are at at this. They both failed, so okay. they take max damage. Roll two d six. Oh, this could be really good. Six or it could each. be two snake eyes. It's right. average. It's okay. The bo bokoblin <laughs> A is is fried. Let's see. Zalfos B is at fourteen. All right, on slow. Okay, um, well, I think right now it might be a good idea to try and get some chip damage in on Lizalfo's B. So, For sure. Yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to do. All right, 22. 22. That does hit it. And how much are we hitting it for? Five. Five, Five damage. Alright, uh, you want tactics time again? Sure. Alright. Alright, so we're All definitely right. about to get scorched by this with all of us, right? Yes, probably. Well, right, Sora's so, uh, in the air right now, so Sora won't have to worry about their fire unless they shoot their fire specifically at Sora, which they probably won't. I so, have faith in a... Wait, no, wait. Even with the, the natural 20, uh, we still took damage. Yeah, yeah, this could be the death of Barla or her mule. So, yeah. Nate... <sighs> Sora is going to... Um... So if the mule dies, does the mule, is the mule just done? At that point, probably. It's your ration. <laughs> Barla will be shopping for a new mount at that point. <laughs> anyway, Sora is probably going to fly around and do some healing. Maybe heal the mule if you can. <laughs> uh, maybe. Honestly, I think bringing the mule into the battle is probably a bad idea. Well, we, well, we, we didn't intend we, they to. They found us. Right, <laughs> right there. Yeah. But yeah, I suppose. I Wait, suppose. Uh, save, save the mule because even Barla can be salvaged. She just can't be down for more than three turns. Save the mule, not Barla. <laughs> we'll yeah, save so Barla oh, eventually. Sora. Just don't lose the mule. Sora can save the mule, but yeah, Sora's basically just gonna fly around and do some healing. That's that plan. The, right. the big, the biggest problem is B goes first, so it's a yeah. It's all just a matter of how these saving throws go. If he tries to torch us, he might go for Decca and Onslow. I mean, I did throw a bomb, well, so yeah. Because Barla and the meal are both fine, and then we can probably take out Lizalfo's B before he becomes an issue. He might want to do that, Barla. All right, y you go second. Okay, All right. I think we're done. Alright. The uh, moves over here and uh, said, sends the fires towards Decca <laughs> and Onslow. Here it comes. So what's the role to... Uh... Dex exert. Okay, okay well, my, my de I will actually take... Uh, uh, wait, no, I didn't even add the Dex exert last time. And my dex will be a plus oh, God. two. Uh, 
Uh, why uh, is yours a plus three again? Hmm? Why is yours a plus three again? Because he has a plus why? one dex and he has one in exert, or he has... Yeah, yeah. I have oh, one okay. in exert and uh, one in and uh, one from dex. <laughs> okay, then mine's just going to be a plus two. Plus two from the dex. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right, Deca passed on slow. You uh, you failed. So so uh, you take three damage, Deca. On slow, you take seven. Oh my gosh! Wait, sit. Repeat that. You take three damage, Deca. Okay. On slow oh. takes seven. <laughs> I am below half health now. I didn't realize how squishy I was and how Game. dodging very ma matters very little. Yeah, pretty much if I take the full hit of that, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, <Again>. Barla. <laughs> All right. Barla is going to move right behind this guy and then thrust her spear at him. Oh, Exodia, that's impossible. No one's ever been able to summon him before. <laughs> not one what? after not 20. What, what, what? Yeah, you like well, missing her strike, Barla decides it's time to get out of here, and she'll just go ahead and risk an opportunity. I, I do attempt. want to point out, you just because you haven't used it yet, you do have your full <laughs> warrior ability to automatically hit or automatically dodge. Well, hey, yeah, let's do that. But it doesn't work for saving rolls, but it does work for attack rolls. Who had, the, inspira this guy. Who had the inspiration again? Yeah, Devin. you had the inspiration. Oh yeah, you know what, let's use the <laughs> auto hit right now. So that's 8 damage. Wait, no, sorry, I rolled the wrong down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 14 damage. Hey. All right, 14 damage. Let's see. Yeah, you, you got him. He did. He, he yeah. did. You actually got him with uh, the auto hit there. For a second there, I thought you were doing the uh, the inspiration. <laughs> All right, boat on. Barla will retreat back there on the mule. Okay, I, I think I should uh, get rid of the this lizard boy before he becomes a problem, so I'm gonna take a swing at him. Decrypt this spear. Natural nat 20. 20. There you go. Yeah. Roll your damage at advantage. Alright. D10 plus 5. Well, well, <laughs> he doesn't even okay. need it. You don't need <laughs> Alright, yeah, he then. just takes yeah. 15 damage. Not the mule! Boom! All right, he takes this, this. This doesn't sound like a splatter sound. This sounds more like like hitting a pumpkin with a sledgehammer. Oh no, he, that is a splatter he lives sound. On. Or it, it's more of like this thunk, squishy thunk. Got it. I'm like, let's see. A 16 hits, doesn't it? Uh, yes, a 16 does hit. All right. Let's see. He does six damage to you. Ouch. Uh, where's my health? Oh, there it is. All right, Sora. Well, unfortunately, I can no longer reach the mule to heal it, so... That's fine. Just focus on the Lizolfo. Uh, Sora will heal Deca, I guess. Okay. Okay, so, Deca, you will heal. If I can press the D button. <laughs> and this, it was at this moment he knew the D button was broken. Oh, okay, 11. Deca, you heal 11. I am back to full health. And then Sora's gonna fly him way over here just because he has to be moving in order to stay up, I noticed. At least on the upside, it doesn't take much to heal me back to full. 
All right, Bokoblin's yeah, going for, for Bodon as well. Uh, yeah, that was higher than 16. Ugh. Let's see, how much damage does Boko do? Four. Okay. And uh, it's Dekka's turn again. Uh, considering this is Percine, I will use the other bomb on the cluster of Bokoblin and uh, Lizalfo. All right. Uh, roll the damage, and uh, I'll see if they can make their save. If they, if they, if they, uh, did what? Did they dodge? So, the Coblin takes five damage, and the, uh, Lizalfos takes the full force of it, so he goes up to 26. Somebody breathe on the Lizalfo, so he'll <laughs> fall over. All right, on slow. I got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, shoot that Lizolfo. Hopefully we can take him down. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Let's see what, what the uh, the dice pressure says. 20. A dirty 20. That hits. Okay. Hopefully this is enough to just finish this. Or finish him. Four. That would get him to exactly 30. You managed to take him out. Nice. Arrow flies through its head. Alright, there is no need for tactics time. Just kill this guy already. Arla raises her spear once more and attacks this thing from behind. Wait, <laughs> interrogate him! She, atta she attacks the life points directly! <laughs> what's, what's the shock damage on that? Ew. But she hit anyways. I think. We yeah, should try and interrogate this guy. No, oh, he's too <laughs> dumb. We need a whiz rope. Yeah. We'll see what this guy has. No, well, he's dead. 11 damage. Uh. <laughs> also, we should talk to... We <laughs> <laughs> heard him. All right. The, uh... I mean, we could still talk to him if anyone could communicate with the dead. <laughs> No, All that's right. a different character of mine. <laughs> he is he's dead. There you go. Alright, Barla's gonna look around, see if they had anything of value or if there's anything useful. Sora is gonna start healing himself back up. Yep, we can probably scavenge uh, for I anything that they drop. Use a bit of healing. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yep. Sora will heal himself, Sora will heal the meal, and Sora will heal Barla. Oh, and how much? Oh, right, and on slow. Yeah, okay, you're, so you're... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna be doing this a lot. Sora to himself heals 10 HP. So Sora's I basically. Misheard you. I misheard you and thought you said he yells 10 HP. <laughs> 10 <laughs> HP. <laughs> Sora heals by yelling clearly. <laughs> Anyways, on slow, you get six HP. <laughs> I assume you want another one. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I'm at 11 out of 12 health, so... Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, Barla, you take 8 HP. Alright. And Barla's mule, you take 11 HP. And that's more than the max health of a mule. Supercharge. <laughs> Apparently, Sora's very good at healing animals. Right. Should I roll anything for like scavenging or what? Or I guess what do you call that? Scrounging? Looting. Uh, That's scrounging. I'm at nine HP out of twenty four. Oh 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 you also need <laughs> I thought I thought you were doing pretty decent. Okay. Uh the, the Bolton you take eight HP. Eight. Do do you want another? Well um 
I take one system strain, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Yeah. yeah, you have plenty of system strain, and we've got ratchet, so long resting is possible, so... Five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So eight and five is twelve. It's twenty-one. All right, and I think Barla's looking at these idiots, seeing if they they're carrying anything on them. Wait, did you say eight and five is twelve? Oh wait, no, eight and five is thirteen. So one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My math. Very important. 22. So, uh, the only thing that you you get is another horn from one of the bull goblins. How much encumbrance is a horn? It's like one. Alright, the mule can carry it. Bull what happened to our last horn again? We still have it. Has it. Okay. Yeah, he still has it. I debated on selling it, but I decided eh, it might be useful. All right. Um, yeah, we can cause double the distraction. I guess it's uh, world map time again. All right. Now's the time to storm that uh, tower, right? Once we curl around. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Let's do it. All right, you going for the tower? Yeah. Yep. Curl around to behind though, like this. That's what we're planning, right? Yeah. All right, you can position yourselves as you want while I set everything else up. Ah, oh, the guardian! Oh no! It's, not, it's less the guardian and more the tree on fire. fire. Oh, we can have to <laughs> erase all. I think me... there's a specific button to like erase all drawings. Yeah. I yeah. So we see if we come back to that guardian, we replace those trees with like just black char. <laughs> so the watchtower is uh, gonna be here, and it's nighttime too, right? Yeah. Barla's going to have her bow equipped again. Is there any activity going on around here? Watchtower's right there. Oh, so, no. there's some bow goblins on the ground that you can see. You don't know who's in the tower right now. All right, this is a good spot behind the tree. I can probably, spells. like, stealth should take them down. <laughs> stealth yeah, I guess this... them down. Well, I, I can't really. I'm just clunk, 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 clunk. Yeah, I'd you... say for now we have our, uh, bow guys go assassination! And then once the frontal guys are down, we... Barla's we... gonna temporarily leave her spear with the mule so that she can have her uh grappling hook i guess she just has to stow it yeah she's gonna have her grappling hook and bomb arrows equipped for this fight all right you do not have surprise they they are alert that's fine so uh no execution attacks are going off here uh never mind that then And then, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, it's a new initiative, so everyone roll up. Alrighty. How did I take one damage again? Well, that that's just left over from last battle. But he healed me to full. Yeah. I, I mean, leftover. when we had this map last time, this is when you were burnt to a crisp. Oh, right. So I was sitting <laughs> at one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got 18 this time. Wait, My rolls are garbage. 
So rolling initiative, is there anything I would would add to it, or is that only it's Dax? Just Dax. Okay. Okay. Luck is in your favor this time. How do I change my icon? They wanted to go exactly in order of descending values. <laughs> How structured of them. That is totally not Bokoblin. Well, you know those Bokoblins. They're really trying to stay organized. You They're know, trying to us from a loop. When everything goes before Sora. <laughs> oh boy. Better make your moves count, then. It's fine. This is actually fairly optimal for Sora to go. Since on the off chance one of you guys falls, Sora will be able to heal you before your turn starts so that you can take your turn. So this is actually surprisingly optimal. Surprisingly optimal. Or did you plan it this way? Yes, I planned for initiative rolls to suck. Yes, good, Anakin, good. <laughs> oh my good. Let's see, can these things do well? All right, Bodon, you are first. All right, I guess I'm just going to well, run out. I guess uh, tactics time if you guys want it. No, we don't need tactics time, do yeah. we? Yeah, no. I can't. I mean, we'll probably need it when something unforeseen happens, but right now it's just Bokoblin Sling. Alright. Rip and tear until it is done. Yeah, so I'm gonna lumber out with my mighty hammer and just try and squash this guy. Alright, go for it. Oh no, it's a 13. Does a 13 hit? Uh, no. What's your oh, shock no. damage, though? Oh, it's a lot. Oh, well, it's like seven, isn't it? Dong. It is. It says seven AC. All right. So, just the act of almost crushing him is basically made him almost die. <laughs> just like to imagine, I hit the ground and like he fell over and his head hit a rock or something. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you smashed and hit a rock and the pits of the rock just hit him anyway. Okay, so now it's either Onslo or Barla. Alright, well Barla's so, just gonna shoot. Do you have anything creative planned? I'm shooting. Great, so let's I, both shoot take... at the same time. Are you? Although, are we going for that uh, Bacoblin? Maybe we should take turns on that just to see if one of us kills it. <laughs> There's a straight arrow that goes near. Barla's Bodon. gonna go for Bokoblin B because she's got a plan. Fourteen to hit. The uh, which Bokoblin? Bokoblin B. Uh, that does not hit. Oh, then will you use the inspiration? To try again. Okay, I'm sh. I'm yes, shooting that was a great somewhere into the sky. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All the shots do not hit. And also didn't know he, who he was shooting at. That's why his uh, accuracy <laughs> was so bad. All right, Decca. Let's see. I'd like to... I'd like to move over to this space if I can sprint there and use my turn for that. Uh, you can only go 60 feet when you sprint, and then there's this ledge here. Okay, one sec. I will go to the tree where Barla is, then. Alright. And I shall remain hidden. Alright. So A is going to try to get revenge on Bodon. He got a 15. Yeah. Plus one AC would have really helped. 
Uh, it's a floor dice. That doesn't count. Alright, well, maybe the floor dice would have been better. He got a five. Okay. Let's see. Um, B is going to come towards the tree here. And then Bokoblin C is going to go after Onslow. He got a nat 1. So you take one shock damage. Okay. Alright, uh, Sora. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Well, I guess Sora's gonna try and sky shoot that Bokoblin. Don't got much else he can do this turn. Nobody right now is in need of healing, at least as of yet. Plus, taking to the skies is probably going to be a good thing, so let's see. How high up are out. you going? Uh, probably 20 feet. Okay. You see, yep, and see this guy? Yep, that confirms pretty much what I was thinking. I had a feeling there was something in the tower, considering it tried to shoot up Bodon. Alright. Alrighty, I'll have to remember he exists for later. But first, watch me miss. Oh! 21, you hit. Nice, okay, I think that one next to Bodon is gonna go down. Yeah, I'm assuming you do at least one damage. Yes. But let's see how much he goes down by. Seven. <laughs> as much as uh, Bodon's shock damage. All right. Let's see. And Does Sora it, uh... is going oh, to. Go and Sora is going to go. There are Bokoblins in the tower. They're shooting at us from above. Be careful, everyone. Noted. Does a fourteen okay, hit? I got you. Hit you. Me? Yeah. Yes. Alright. Uh, you take two damage. Okay. And now you can see, uh, another Bokoblin. Surprise. You say as if it surprises me. Surprise. And then... That misses Bodon as well. And now that takes you to the top of the round. Do you want tactics? Nah. Hmm. Unless y'all want to knock down that tower with the Bokoblins inside. I was going to climb into it. Yeah, I got a yeah. grappling hook. It may take more of a strain to try to climb into it. Is there a ladder? Yeah. The ladder's over here. Okay. And what about my grappling hook? <laughs> yeah, I'd say a boat on climbs up. If he if he shoves the Bokoblin off from the top, then they're probably not going to be too much of a problem. I cannot jump the distance, so you'll have to test me. That's what I was going to do. I was just going to throw them off. <laughs> yeah, so Bodon will climb to the top, throw the Bokoblins down. That'll probably turn them into paste, and the rest of us can probably handle the small fry on the ground. Okay. Alright, is that all the things? Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. Alright, go for it. Alright, so uh, I, I'm probably going to end up using all my movement just to get in there. Or how, how much movement would it take to climb the ladder and get to the top? Climbing the ladder is going to be 25 feet. I'm going to use my burst of speed then. All right, roll out. So I get 60 movement. So in that case, it would take like, like 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 to kind of get to the ladder. 
25 to get up, and I have 5 movement left. Would I be able to get into range of one of these two? You said 60. That was That's only 45. You still got 15 movement left. Oh, okay. Uh, 10. It was 25 to get to the ladder, but that uh, gets you up right there. And, uh, this is the face that you see. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that that was just movement. So can I just like, can Hello I just throw, can I just throw him off? He's in the middle of it. He's in the like he's in the middle of the tower. You'd have to Jesus. you'd have to shove him more than ten feet in any direction <gasps> to get rid of him. Am I able to get where he's standing? Yeah, I think I, you're in range to attack him right now. Yeah, you are. I mean, you you can uh, you can move around another ten feet, so you could get to like here or here. Um. So I I I can't shove him off then. No, not right now. Uh, okay. Well, can I just go past him? Or is he blocking me? No, you can walk around him. Alright. With ten movement uh, left, I don't think you're gonna be in range of any Bokoblins, though. Okay, yeah. well, I'll use... I'll use... what's left of my movement to get in his face, and I'll... I'll... I, I can't use the, my hammer, because it's two-handed, right? And I'm climbing a ladder. No, you're up in the canopy now. You're good. Oh, okay. Okay, th yeah, then I'll, I'll just smash him in the face with my hammer. Alright, roll for it. D20 plus 11. 21. Yeah, that hits. D10 plus 5. 11 damage. Nice! Mm, gave him a good bruising. Alright, well, he's gonna see if he can exact his revenge against you. Uh, let's see. Thirteen. That plinks. He... He did it. You take, uh... Two shock. Uh, where's my HP? It's like in the middle of the page. Okay. Where's... Where's my... Ah, there it is. All right, okay. well, Coblin D is going to turn around and shoot at you. Oh my gosh, this guy is a legend. He does five damage. He got a natural 20. Yeah. All right, and that's Onslow's turn. Okay, or Barless, but uh, I guess I'll, I can go first. Um, go ahead. Okay, so I think I'll take a shot at the one that uh, was trying to focus on Bodon up in the tower. Can I see him though, or is that out, he out of sight? Uh, like the one in the tower. Uh, D. You could you could hit him, but he has half cover. Okay, so it would be more difficult to. Yeah. That's the, the high ground. Okay. Um. In that case, uh, I think no. I'll. I'll focus on B then. I'll try taking out one of the ground cover uh, ones. All right. Ooh, Twenty-three. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> he was one shy of his own nat twenty. Uh, four damage. All right. B is in yeah. looking super hot. Right. And then, Before. can I also move, or... Would they, yeah. this guy attack me if I tried moving? 
If you tried moving like here or here, yes. Okay, well, I might just stay here. <laughs> like, he can just hit me, whatever. You mentioned these three gentlemen had half cover. Yeah. What is a bomb that you think of half cover? <laughs> uh, it means that they, if they pass the save, they take no damage. Right, good to know. Essen essentially, mm. uh, halves the damage, and then half and half just zeroes out. All right. So if we mm. want to be effective, we'll have to climb. Yeah, in that case, Father's uh, gonna move over here and then shoot a regular arrow at B. All right. Twenty-two. Yeah, that hits. All right. Mm. Seven. All right, he's down. Okay. In that case, Barla's going to keep moving. Just this for the pot 10, 15. Down to right here. And that'll be all. All right, Decca. You are behind tree. Okay. Um, provided that I have some cover, I'm going to use... I'm just going to shoot like a bullet seed. Uh, let's see. Again, mouth, plus four bonus to hit, d6. Would Who that be a d6 at? plus... Pardon? Oh, sorry, uh, the ground one. Because he's got a tree between the two of you. Sorry, I can't. I, I couldn't tell. Uh, then I will move whatever I can to get within range or within uh, view. Like here. Uh, yeah, that'll work. All right. Boom. Right. Okay, so it's a D six. What plus four because of the bonus? Uh, something like that. It's a nine. Uh, that does not hit. I didn't roll a d20. Oh. You didn't tell me I had to roll a d20. You just said something like that. Yeah, uh, roll, roll the d20. Fifteen. Alright, uh, that's a seventeen. So that does hit, so he takes nine damage. Is that right? I'll look it up later. It's fine. He's dead. All right, Sora. Did you mute yourself? You're again? muted. He muted himself again. Freaking heck, I muted myself right. again. <laughs> you need to change your mute button. It's not that. Anyways, uh. Okay, uh. Well, the ground vocals are, uh. I'll take care of, so I guess. So I'll just, um. Stick to flying and. Work on, uh. Is the mob one behind half cover? Uh, if you if you gain five more feet of altitude, none of them will have half cover to you because you'll be on an even plane. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, Sir so will fly up five feet and he'll uh, fire towards the Moblin. May as well see if I can somewhat try and help uh, help Bolton. Why can I never remember Bolton's name? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I even said it wrong. Bodon. Help Bodon with the Moblin. Yeah, I deserve that nat <laughs> <Not> one. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would he gain more of an advantage if he flew higher by chance? Uh, no. That would give him half. That would give them half or full cover because he because of the top of the roof. Okay. Just just wondering. All right. So. F is going to take a shot at Barla, 
And then E is going to take a shot at Onslow. And we'll see how well they do. Oh no, they're flying! They're on the sky portion of the tower. Oh gosh, let's see. E got a natural 20. Oh, they're getting a lot of those. Yeah, I don't like the. I, I'm. I don't. I think this kite. This dice is really good if I was a player, and really bad if I'm a GM. <laughs> I uh, guess it's really damage. bad. Okay, that's for Onslow, right? Mm, yeah. All right, I'll roll, roll half health. I'll roll this one with dice parser because uh, oh. it's been the real dice have been exceedingly sus. Uh, 13. I don't think that hits Barla. No. Alright, we're at the top of the round. Is it, uh, tactics or just smack him up? Um, I'm just warning you, I'm probably not gonna last long, so, uh... I mean, it's, gonna... it's good at least the, a couple we'll of them are gonna focus on us rather yeah. than you. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of I, what think... I was thinking is that yeah, I might... So my thought for me is I will take a shot. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, I'll take a shot, then move to the base of the tower, and then the next turn I'll climb up. Okay. Yeah, I think... I think we should have a couple start climbing uh, up. Did he die, or did you uh, say... He, he died. I think I'm here. Okay. For a second, I was like, oh, man, did I die? Okay, anyways, what I was saying, if my computer will let me say it, is I do think we should have a couple of the melee guys go up and help assisting Bolton, besides Boda. ground staying on the ground isn't going to do you guys much good anyways, because they have half cover up there. Right. I'll have Sora keep... Do, I'll have sword keep doing the shooting, but I'll probably have him start heading uh, over to the other side, just so that I can have him assist. And yeah, basically just try and climb up to help, and I'll have Sora move across as well. Okay. In just a second. Okay. So yeah, I think that's our tactics. All right. All right, boat on. All right, so I'm gonna swing. Oh, wait a minute. It, it's a like inside of here is wood, right? Yeah. Can I swing at his feet and break the floor beneath them? <laughs> um, potentially. I have a hammer. I mean, <laughs> it's. Uh, nah, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and, like, break the floor below him so he falls down. Alright. We'll see uh, how much damage you can do to this floor. Alright, do I gotta do it a hit or just the damage? Oh, uh, just the damage. The floor, it's not like the... F well, no. Roll the hit. I, I like. Because he's gonna it's try... Gonna be he, he's in your way. So you have to get past him. Alright. Ah, Sorry. 14. Oh my gosh. Alright, roll for damage. D10 plus 5. Safe with the modifier. Alright. Um, how much damage does he take? A little... I'll roll this dice out in the open because it's just falling damage. I don't make it up. Oh my gosh. He took... Five, he, he's, he took four falling damage, but he is on the ground un, underneath right. the tower now. And fresh and he, meat. Prone too? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I'm yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say that's a good turn. And then I'll, I guess I'll just get up in F's face. Cool. All right. The Moblin is prone so he's gonna use his movement to get back up again and he doesn't have any range so he's just chillaxing I guess so you just see him fall from the bottom and just go to fall to the 
Yeah, Dee's going to try to stop Bodon's rampage before it can mm -hmm. get started. Uh, I'm going to roll this You're one about to get well. Bodon! <laughs> I don't trust this dice. This dice been rolling too good. I think, is it, I swear it's weighted. Yes, the virtual dice yeah. is Nope, weighted. I got the exact same roll on the dice parser too. Alright, it's a 19. Okay, that hits. I'm like, I, I swear I'm not making this crap up. <laughs> okay. Three damage from the arrow. Okay. Alright, Onslow, it is your turn. Okay, um... Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, seeing the Moblin has just dropped down there, I think now's a pretty good time to just, you know, focus on him. Yeah. So I'll be taking a shot at him. Alright, go for it. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> that is not it. Okay, um... And... See, I I think I'm gonna move kind of uh, behind this tree out, just to get it out, out of his range a bit. Let me see, is that? Uh, I might need to move a bit further back. Uh, let's see, how far is that that I've gone? I'm like, like, sh yeah, I think that that should be. Uh, like, about I right. I think that's as far as you can move. Yeah, I th I just wanted to be like out of the Moblins range, and I think that's more than uh, 30 feet, so... Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> so that's my turn. Alright, Barla. Alright, well... Moblins still prone, right? Uh, no. Uh, he got back up. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, we'll just fire an arrow at him. Yeah. It's probably better he got up. Yeah. <laughs> no. 11. That is not hit. Alright. In that case, Barla's moving. I'm like, your rolls were so good against the Lizalfo. So this mob, when he's got, got magic powers, I swear. Go. Alright, Decca. There is a uh, moblin on the ground here. I will move her there. She may end up becoming the next target for the Bokoblins, but if she can attack the Moblin without hitting Bodon, then that should be fine. Uh, and he has a ha he has a high chance of dodging the explosives, which is better for splash damage. Unless, will my explosives light the tower on fire? Uh, well, he's yeah. He's oh, down on the. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set it on fire. Uh, buying the boat on. <laughs> he's a he, door on. He'll be he's fine. Got he's got team PPE. Remember? Yeah, but when the tower falls apart, he won't be. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, go for it. Shoot it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do this. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right. Just making sure I've got everything good to go. Two d six. All right, and then that'll be what a d20 and a 2d6. Uh, it's just a 2d6 for uh for this ability. You don't have to worry about the to hit roll. A ten. A ten on the 2d6. Yes. I'm like, that's that's, that's almost solid. maximum damage. Yeah. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. You you roasted him and uh, the the tower is now on fire. Yes. Don't worry, I'll jump, draw it. Jump, piglets, jump! <laughs> I'm running out of fire colors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of fire colors. That's fine. We get the message. Yeah, I'm I'm doodling too, so we really. Understand. And Gorons are mm. used to the heat, so he shouldn't be taking any damage from flames, at least. And he's got a, a little bit of time before it collapses and falls on him. 
Well, I don't have much HP and I don't have fire resistance. <laughs> oh well, we'll uh, you'll you can be prone for like you you can be down for like three turns before you die permanently. So we'll get you up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. There is Sora. so much gear here. Sora, the tower's on fire. I guess so much for uh, searching for information in the tower. Yeah, that's the other kind of problem here. <laughs> Oh, well, it's probably the same as the other tower. <laughs> Here, as I was debating whether or not to blow it up. <laughs> okay, so... Bolt on needs healing. Uh-huh. I only have seven. Okay. Now you have 18. All right. Uh, that's another system strain. All right. Um, is that everything? Uh, now it's uh, the two Bacoblins. Well, yeah, yeah, but I meant for Sora. Yeah, yeah, that's that Sora moved and he did his action. All right, he's jumping ship. Now here's an idea: <laughs> if yeah, if the two uh, Bacoblins jump and Sora's still in the air, then he can just fly in real quick and check to see if there was anything there and safely fly out. Good uh, idea. We'll, I suppose we'll. See, it'll have to be quick, but yeah, if the Bokoblins get off, so we can try and check. Yeah, normally when we face Bokoblins in any game, when they were on fire, they did kind of do a dancey jig and try to put themselves out. Well, they're not on fire yet. The tower is catching fire. Uh, Sora does uh, an 18 hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, 18. Well, it truly hits. Four damage. Bokoblin F is shooting at you. Okay. All right, we are at the the top of the round. The fire is spreading. I think we already know the plan, right? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, only, one, yeah. only one Bokoblin jumps. Interesting. I mean, the other two can roast alive up there if they want. Yeah, but that does make Sora going up there and uh, searching difficult. Yeah, oh, but, but climbing... Still up there and can crush one. No, he's... Uh, wasn't uh, Bodon... Didn't Bodon also jump down? No, I'm still... Oh, okay, well then, no, he, Bodon. He's saying, yeah. Okay, then Bodon can... I mean, no way, he was in the room. And he just smashed the floor. Uh huh. So if anything is still in there, then you at least have you have a chance to to go in and quickly take a look. Uh. Well, I I, I I'm guessing I can't search very well with it catching on fire. And... I mean, it's only on fire, it kind of at the bottom. <laughs> but what you could do is you could shove one of the bokoblins off. Um, I'm probably just gonna try and get out. I kind of can't blame me, to be honest. Yeah, we'll keep searching for information. We we got plenty of camps and towers to check out. Okay, then here's an idea. How about you use one of the Bokoblins as a safety device as you jump down? <laughs> just grab it. Just grapple it with your strength and then uh. just leap off with it and then land Use on it as top a of it. Use uh, it as a shield! Use uh, it as a shield! How usable is the ladder right now? Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> Barla, you are multiplied. I'm sorry. I keep making mistakes. Uh-uh. Is this thing, is this an accurate accurate representation of uh, this tower right here? Um, I mean, the color was just fine. Like, the ladder's over here. But this, like, this, uh... This, this pulley thing, system is our ladder. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, hey, I mean, if you the need artwork to jump says off, it. I'll, I'll give it to you. The artwork, the artwork says sure. There's a pulley system to get crap. All up right. Here. I guess I'm gonna try and slide down that. I'm gonna. It's like the flick and dot scenario <laughs> from a bug's life, but it's a rock. I know it's a rock. Just pretend it's a sea. <laughs> so I'll the. Try... Yeah, I guess the police system is gonna be like over here then. Yeah, I'm gonna try and jump onto the rope and uh, slide down. All right, go for it. You gonna take uh, the opportunity attack or? Yeah, I'll take the opportunity attack. All right. Dice parser says you're not escaping. Yeah. Three damage. See what I mean? Maybe I maybe I should take up that. He, he extra rolled a AC. sixteen. <laughs> uh, three damage. You said. Yep. Well, that brings. So we down. didn't we didn't go with using one of the book albums as a safety device on the way down. No, I'm just gonna slide down this thing. Oh come on! <laughs> Deca wants to what? see a trampoline of Bokoblin. I want to see it. I want to see how effective it is. Because the more we try now, the more ideas we can have later. All right. So well... people just want to watch the world burn. I do. I'm watching it burn <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah, she's she's literally doing that. <laughs> All right. Why, the escape uh... is over here. I think I'm having. Okay, hang on, let me reset my window. Apparently, I have power over move me, moving anything. There, I locked right, it. I should be fine now. I should be fine now. Probably I wonder if I have this a while ago. <laughs> I do. Oh, well, yeah. Otherwise, you couldn't move yourselves. Alright, uh, anyway, it's your. You've taken the opportunity to attack, you're just gonna go for it? Yeah. So... Yeah, I guess the police is system... Well, how fast are you going to go down this police system? Uh, probably really fast. If it breaks, <laughs> he'll yeah. go faster! Yeah, is that thing gonna be able to take the weight of a Goron? Or do we remember the last time when rope <laughs> broke? <laughs> Hopefully this is strong rope. <laughs> oh my god! There are multiple ropes here. Okay, so uh two ropes are better than one. But you're going yeah. you're going really fast. You so, know what's funny is if it's, a weakened, that thing. if it's a weak foundation, he could end up pulling the tower with him. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me a, a Dex exert check. Uh that's plus one. Five. All right, yeah, you take, uh, let's see, again, I'm rolling this in the open. No shenanigans, five falling damage. All right. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> uh, You're on the ground over here. Yeah. In a Rick Point scale of two, the world around you shakes a little bit. <laughs> All right. Book oh. Hoblin D jump ship. He better take fall damage. They're not that aerobatic. <laughs> yeah. Well, he landed in the bushes, don't you realize? Great! Piercing damage from the thorns and the branches! <laughs> These are some soft bushes. Alright, on slow. Those are not! There's some boys jumping off this burning building. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm gonna move out of the a bit out of the cover from the tree so I can take a... Uh, I'm gonna take a shot at D here, since he's closer to me. All right. Oh, yeah, that hits. And three. Oh man, he's not looking he's, so like, good. He's barely hanging on, isn't he? Yeah, he's barely yeah. hanging on. He lands in the bushes, and you shoot him, and he's just, he's just not having it. Okay, and uh, yeah, I'll finish my turn ducking back behind the tree at, out of cover. All right, Barla. The Goron has jumped out of the building. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Did she get a shot at Bokoblin E? Yeah. All right. 
Let's do it. 18. That does hit. He's probably going to die. 11. Yeah, he's Yeah, dead. I think he was guaranteed to die. There. No survivors. All right, Decca, no survivors, you say? I'm going to have Decca back off a little bit so that she doesn't take a debuff or a a, a negative counter towards her shooting. She's going to shoot uh just a mouth bullet at D. All right. Uh roll to hit. Uh okay. Uh, let's see. This is a dex, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that'll like be a plus your... two. Yeah. And then punch or shoot if you have it. Okay, that's a 17, so that should hit. And yep. that'll be a... He's dead. That'll be a D6 plus four. He is dead. He's very dead. He's very <laughs> dead. He would have died. Now let's see He's if he dead wants and to he almost died again. even try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sora. Oh boy, do I shoot up this book goblin so that way he, uh, so that way he dies on the fall, or do I heal Bolton or uh, Bolton? You go, you were close. You were close. I don't know why I can't get your Corn character's name right. <laughs> it's okay. I don't remember. But I keep saying Barlow, unfortunately. Boda. So do I heal Boda or do I take the shot? Take the shot. Eh, okay. I guess I'll take the shot. Healing could be done later anyways. Granted, I don't think I'm going to hit, but... Nope, I did not hit. Alright. Okay. F. And Sora's going to move over here. Man, my 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 attack rolls are just generally garbage. This, and yet I'm I'm. This is the best I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you've been using your fireballs. Yeah. No. Uh, F's going to blow his horn, and the building collapses on top of him. Oof. Mm. So uh, it's all gone. Nice. He's dead. The tower is dead. You have. And now we now we put to business, putting out the fire so that it doesn't spread across the forest and alert everything. Huh. No, yeah. I'm gonna. No, Sora's gonna say. He blew a horn. Let's get out of here before reinforcements come. Hurry. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, evac. Maybe blow the horn towards that. That stone with the eye. You mean oh, yeah, um, we'll do that? <laughs> well, oh, like run down there, yeah, and then blow the horn so they all come over to that guardian thing. Very well, you do that, but be careful. The rest of us will evac as we can. Let us hurry, Barla. everyone. Yeah, Barla will rush to where she left her mule, mount up, and say, "Onward, Martel." All right, and uh, with that, the session will end. But Great, first, I'm good dinner. Y'all leveled up. You are level four now. Yay! Oh, nice. So you get the, the good stuff. Woohoo! Good stuff. What? Hmm? What? The good stuff. Now we're invincible. Let's go to the stronghold. No. All right, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.